we're moving on to my pick. Your pick. This is Philip's pick of the yes, show. Yes, They are called perpetuals. And we'll explain what that means. The perpetuals sombrero sunset yarrow collection M48979, brand spanking new. Only quantity of the entire season is what we have right here, right now. $42.16. And what you're getting is four actively growing plants and all four of these colors are yes. coming home to you. So you get all of them, which I love. And again, this color palette I is love spectacular. Them. I love them. And after the shows were over last season, I took them home and I put them in my garden and they never, oh, they're, they've got a sombrero out there. Dan Wheeler would already have it on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, wait, I see it. Bring in the sombrero. Uh, I want the sombrero. Uh, I will wear it. But nothing but color out of here. These are just not going to quit on you. Yeah, she wants it on. <laughs> I'm going to wear the sombrero. I love it. We're at Mardi Gras now for sure. We are. Uh -huh. Check it out. Well, you know what? You know what it is? Hey, you know what? It's all about having that festive color. Everyone's laughing at me. It's all about having the festive color. And that's what really this makes me think right. of is when you have all of this color, you truly are really like having a party every time you look out your you window. You are. And when I took these home, they were blooming when I took them home and they bloomed all the way through the first freezes. These are perpetual perennials. They never stop blooming and the deer will not touch them. They're drought tolerant. My grandmother had these uh, yarrows. Is and that the, right? Yes, these are called moss yarrows. That's a common name for those. But hers were kind of a muddy pink, but I thought they were beautiful. She didn't have these colors. I wish she were alive today so she could see these because I saw these the first time in the John Denver Sanctuary in Aspen, Colorado. Really? One of the most beautiful public gardens I have ever seen in my life. It inspired my front yard. You know, I get it doesn't all just come out of my head. I get right. inspired. So sure. that inspired me. They had these in that garden and I wanted them in the edge of my pathways because I had those magic carpet sedums for the pathway and I wanted these in the edge. They're gorgeous with it and they're also drought tolerant. Oh, and that is really great, especially for some parts of the country where we just cannot predict what's going to be happening. But with your colors, the one we have here on the end is that deep rose. Here we have the terracotta that's yeah. next to it, which that's is my favorite one. Beautiful. It's so unusual and it marries a couple of colors together. We have the light yellow. How, you know what? I just want to dive into that. It just looks so fluffy and beautiful. And then we also have the red and it's not a choice of you get all four. You get all of these and they if you ever dried hydrangeas, mm -hmm. you dry yarrow also because the stems are tough. Mm -hmm. And I use them in dried arrangements during the course of the winter time. There's no need to go out and buy a bunch of flowers in the winter time. Right. Just enjoy these as a dry thing. Also, look at, look when I dry flowers, I spray them with hairspray. Mm -hmm. That way they don't drop anything on the floor. But that's the way they looked in the John Denver Sanctuary. And that's where I took the picture. That, is the, it really? In the John Denver Sanctuary in Aspen. I took that image right there because I thought it was so, so beautiful. And I wanted that for my garden. And the closer you get to these flowers, the better they look. The butterflies, the hummingbirds are all over it. Great for cut flowers, but right. it's one of those perennials that is as tough as a daylily. In fact, they are great with a daylily, which we've got coming up. Imagine these, keep those in right. mind. These to, with the daylilies or with the beautiful Agastache. Yeah, the humdinger Agastache that we started the show with. We're going to show humdinger. you that in a second. But look at the colors yes. that you're getting from this. And this, we were, you and I were chatting before the show, makes good filler in the garden. If you've got any gaps or any holes, this could fill that in nicely. It fills it in. And a lot of a lot of perennials and annuals have beautiful flowers, but the leaves are not much to look at. These leaves look like maidenhair fern. It's really lacy leafed foliage, just gorgeous looking. And I love the texture. They're soft. There's nothing prickly about them at all. Just a handsome, handsome look. The blooms are actually so almost flat on okay. top and, and then they fan out like that. So three blooms makes an arrangement. I use it for a cut flower with my Agastache and also with my roses. They're beautiful to cut and put with your roses. This is so deer. How do deer feel about these? They're not going to touch them. And I have to tell you, I have got, I think all the deer in Chester County live in my backyard <laughs> and they eat a lot of things. They do not touch this yarrow, touch this. which I'm so happy for. And we're showing the Agastache that we that's had right. on earlier in the, the show. The Humdinger Agastache from that's first up in the show. The deer don't touch that either. If you've you got a place where the deer always come, plant these two as a collection. That's right. And you're deer proof. Look at how these color families go together. Dazzling. And think about how layered your garden will be and not just layered with color, 
but the texture that these provide are very, very different. These, the Yarrow, are almost kind of fluffy, whereas yeah. the ones in the front, the Agastache, have just these longer stalks that kind of come up. That they're a little leafier in the way that they look. Oh, and this is a great question. Yeah, so how do they come to us? But these representations are what you can expect to have for years and years to come. Mm -hmm. Non-stop color. And the plants I'm shipping out to you are nice big plants. These will bloom their heads off. These spread faster than almost any of the perennials that we've shown. This forms a mat. It will get mm -hmm. this wide this season, three times bigger than what you're seeing, and gets up like this, blooms its head off in a container or in the ground, good soil or poor soil. And if we put this in a container, what do we do at the end of the season if when it turns winter? You just go on inside the house. Just go on. <laughs> That's it. Some things need special care, so I want to make sure we know. Well, and by well, the way, what kind of sun and water do they like? Um, full sun to slight shade, okay. and I keep mine well watered in the beginning just to get them established. After that, only if you have drought okay. do you mess around with it and use our button fire booster, our general one on these, and mm -hmm. they'll go to town. But it's low, low maintenance. My grandmother had them alongside of her concrete driveway in Crystal Springs, Mississippi. And I'm telling you, it was hot there in the summertime. Yeah, I'm sure it was. And these were cascading out over the concrete and they never showed any stress whatsoever. They were loving it. They just loved it. So, by the way, 500 of these are now gone, and this is brand new. This is Philip's personal pick of it the show. It is mine. It's got my heart. The only quantity of the season are perpetual sombrero. Oh, here it is. The sombrero sunset <laughs> collection. <laughs> Oh, they missed the hat. All right, I'll oh, leave the hat on. Um, M48979. If you like those booster fertilizer packs to feed them right off the bat, that's M7582. If you want to ask about those. Well, we had the hibiscus tree. We had um, the humdinger agastache in the beginning of the show, the yarrow. We're continuing with some daylilies. I just got to make sure they see the hat one more time. <laughs> well, you, you're if mama's putting on the hat. Mama's rocking the hat. Mama's rocking the hat. You better see the hat. <laughs> so here it is. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's what I love about those other flowers is because it's just so beautiful how they created almost like that hat shape on the top. But now we're going to talk about one of my